record on this computer. Okay, good. Recording. Okay, so, and I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna relate this to actually sports. So I've lived for many years with three types of days. You might want to write this down. Three types of days. And the three types of days are free days, focus days, and buffer days. Free days, focus days, and buffer days. Those are the three types of days that I've lived with for about 15 years, okay? So let me explain, let me explain, let me explain the three types of days, okay? So first we need to understand what a free day is. And the word free in Greek means to make young again, means to rejuvenate. And you know the one thing, the one thing that came into my mind just now is I'll never forget when I first went to this coaching program in Canada and it was the first day there and we're in this room with 25 other very highly successful people and I'll never forget, there was a guy in the back, 75, something like that, and he was a stockbroker. And he raised his hand after Dan went through this, and he said to the class, he said, you know, I haven't had a vacation in 25 years. And I was like, at the time, it was 1996, so I was, I don't know, 35, 34, something like that. So the word free in Greek means to make young again, to rejuvenate. So here's what a free day to me means. You ready? And this is what I was taught. Midnight to midnight, 24 hours, no interaction with work. Now, I, you know, when, you know, for years, my family and I would go on vacation and I would be free, but I would see other people, men or women, on their cell phone talking to their office. Are they free? No, they're just in another location, aren't they? But they're in a pretty location, but they're not free. They're still connected. Or how about this? You go away for the weekend, but you take a folder with you for work, and that folder during the day talks to you. So we were drilled like boot camp, Rich, right? You're from, you remember boot camp. We were drilled that free, midnight to midnight, no interaction, no cell phone, no calls. My staff knew, my staff knew that if they called me, they would go on notice. And there, I had one employee at one time that called me three times in a free day. When I got back Monday, guess what I did? Gone. Say la vie. She was fired. Because don't call me on a free day. So it was very interesting early on in my, in my business career, right? I didn't realize I was doing this. It's going to be part of my next book. When Xavier was born, he was, uh, I don't know, he was, he was just born. And uh, I just went into the, the financial world, insurance business. And I think my mother watched him two days. My mother, Lord Gerald's mother watched him two days. But we needed someone to watch him on Friday. And I was just in the insurance business only two months. I said, I'll watch him. So I only worked in my insurance business for four days. And that year, again, I'm not bragging, but that year I ranked number one out of 1,500 for three years in a row. People say, how did he do that? Here's why. Follow me. And I want you to understand this methodology. It's brilliant. And we look at it. We know other industries that do it, which I'll explain to you in a minute. So we got free days. And then I had a focus day. A focus day. A focus day to me. And this business is exactly like that. Exactly like that. John, you could relate to this from the real estate industry. It's the same stuff. So I knew the focus day for me, I did 80% I, of that day was geared towards doing one thing. One thing. And that was generating revenue. Making money. That's it. So all I wanted to do, 80% of my focus day was geared towards making money. So free day, focus day. And the third day, the third day was a buffer day. Well, a buffer day prepared me for my free days and focus days. So at my height of my other business, at my height of my other business, 
Mondays were buffer days. I'd go in at 7.30. I'd have a staff meeting at 9. I delegated everything. I did whatever I have to do. I left at 1. I was done for the day. Done. I had a focus day on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I was off or had free days Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Sunday night, I couldn't wait to come back. So let's bring it to Sola for a second. I said this to uh, Sully. And John, and I said it to, uh, uh, to, uh, to Rich, and I said it to Stephen today. I believe in my heart that when someone has a system in place in this business, not difficult to make $700 to $1 million a year. Not difficult. So, George, if I said George, let me kind of bring it home. You ready? And, George, if you want to uh, unmute your mic, you can. So if George worked, let's just presuppose, George had three focus days, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, three days, right? You had systems in place. And those three days, George, you ran five appointments a day, 10, 12, two, four, six, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, 15 appointments. At 15 appointments a week, George, how many can you close? We'll see. <laughs> How many? We'll see. No, I, well, I'm looking for a number, George. I can't <laughs> fit the number. I can't fit we'll see in my calculator. So let's presuppose out of 15, you close 10, right? Okay. Eight will stick. Let's do the math. Eight times average six kilowatts, which is 1,500. That's 12,000 for the week. Times four weeks, that's 48,000. If you only work four months, if you only work 10 months, it's a half a million a year. It's not a complicated business. It really isn't. We make it complicated by not putting the appropriate pieces in place. That's what we do. So, uh, you know, for me, I'm just very, very focused on, it's the same as any, let, let me give you another a story it happened today. So Stephen and I, Stephen, if you want to chime in, feel free. Raymond, nice to see you there, brother. Uh, so Stephen and I, we had a great meeting today with Dr. Harry in, um, in Wontaw, right? So we're sitting in Dr. Harry's office. He's an orthodontist. And I related, I relate Dr. Harry to this business. Dr. Harry is going back and forth to chairs. He sees, which I was kind of blown away, he sees 40, 50, 60 patients a day. He's a machine. What's the difference between Dr. Harry and having a solar business with the appropriate lead generation systems in place that gives everybody, each and every one of you and us, three, four, five appointments a day? What's the difference? It's no difference. It's the same thing. He didn't do that when he first opened his practice. He geared up to that the same exact thing so let, let, let me kind of relate let me let me relate it another way let's take the New York Giants okay New York Giants play football on a Sunday for the most part right on a Sunday what would we call that what type of day for them focus day right there'd be a focus day they, they got to play they got to go make money right focus day Sunday Monday Tuesday and possibly Wednesday are rest days. Let's call them free days. Thursday, Friday, Saturday are buffer day for them, buffer days to prepare them for what? Focus day and also their free days to rest. It's the same thing. It's no different. So, you know, we, and, and let me kind of, let me wrap up this little part here for a second. When I come off of a strong focus day, whether it be in solar or whatever else I did, and John, you know what? Um, John, you came off of an intense real estate day where you just went out and you got 10 listings for the day. What was that like? It was unbelievable. You were fired up. Absolutely fired up. I know when I, you know, when, when, when I have three, four, five solar appointments a day, four solar appointments a day. I sell two or three. What is that 
feel like. When I was in my other business and I saw six clients in a day, I was tired. And it's rough to have six focus days in a row. We could do it now because we don't have so much. But you, we each have the opportunity to run our business rather than our business run us. So it's a simple time management system. It's not complicated. Focus days, free days, and buffer days. Very powerful. My income went from, I'll never forget, in 1996, I think my income was like 180, 200. It went over a million within five years. Five years. And at the peak, when I sold the business two and a half years ago, I was working three and a half days a week. It was a machine. It was an absolute machine. And I related it to Dr. Harry today. You know, with Dr. Harry, you know, just Stephen and I watching him, right? And I said, Stephen, you know, it's a machine. And this business is no different. We're in a results-oriented business. And if Dr. Harry is not seeing anybody, if he's not seeing, he has no results. No results. And if we're not seeing homeowners or property owners, we have no results. John, if you weren't seeing homeowners and getting listings, you had no results. None. John, hold on. I'm, I'll, I'll, I'll unmute you, buddy. Hold on. Stay there. Go ahead, John. All right. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I always booked myself six to eight appointments every day. Boom. And I came back. I was uh, always uh, having at least 125 listings a year and sold most of them. Yeah. And you if gotta you get did, out though, you gotta get over the fears and you gotta get you're gonna stumble and fall, but you gotta pick yourself up every day and get out and do it again. And, and get you know smarter. what, John? I have to tell you, and let me share this with everybody. Um, I am absolutely, you know, believe it or not, but I'm telling you from my heart, without fear of contradiction, I am absolutely loving doing this business. I, I love this. But I have to tell you, when I, and, and let, me, let me go here for a second, John. I just want to kind of segue. Uh -huh. So I had a meeting at 9.30 this morning in Manorville. And uh, I happen to be, have, I have to go back tomorrow. And um, I just love going in, sitting down with the couple, or if it's an individual person, whatever it is, and just engaging them in what I have to share with them. I love that. I love developing the rapport with them. I love, I, I just, I, I eat it up. I eat it up. I love it. And I've come to also another realization that it's my unique ability. I like that. You know, I love the persuasion factor. I love developing the rapport and that, this, that, and everything else. And, you know, it's interesting. You know, it's, it's interesting when I walked into this guy, he happened to be on a little scooter. I think he was disabled or whatever. Uh, but he says, listen, before you start, I didn't want to make the appointment. I went through this a couple of weeks, uh, a couple of years ago, and this and that. I said, Lenny, you want me to leave? I'll leave. But I think from what I'm going to share with you, you're going to be impressed. You're going to save money. So if you would, take those preconceived notions, leave them out the door for the next 30 to 45 minutes, and let's go through this. Yeah. Is that fair? He said, absolutely. At the end, he said, oh, my goodness, I didn't think it was going to be like this. I am ecstatic says, I got to get my, unfortunately, his wife had to leave. I was going to leave, but I'm glad I didn't. I'm going back. It's a 20 kilowatt system. So I'm going to go back tomorrow and do my thing and get my signs off signed up and everything. But when I go there, when I literally, now let me go into, I want to go into a different direction here. So let's leave the time management. But when I, you know, I use a thing, what is called segment intending. Everybody hear that? Segment intending I use. So when I'm going to an appointment, I'm visualizing in my brain them going through the DocuSign and signing it. I'm visualizing me helping this homeowner. I'm visualizing me helping this property owner, this commercial property owner, this home. I'm going through that. 
I, that's the only thing I think about. 20 minutes before, like clockwork, I shut off my radio, I shut off Esther Hicks, whatever I'm listening to, I, I go into my phase of segment intending and I just visualize me helping these people. That's what I think about. I don't think about anything else. Nothing else comes into my mind. And I just love the art of developing that rapport. Steven, can you hold on, Steven? You there, buddy? Where are you? Yeah. Steven? Steven, yes, sir. Steven, I want you to add to this with me because you and I spend a lot of time together going to an appointment. Would you agree with that? Totally. I totally have tunnel vision with the people that I'm working with. And every family is unique. You have to like hit their heart, hit their core. You know, that one time we went in a home and the dog was bothering us and playing with us. You just have to like be their friends, not a salesperson. Yeah, I, you know what, Stephen, that never, I have to tell you, it really, it never comes into my mind where, here, l let me, let's say it another way. Okay. I think, I think a lot of people, and I don't care if it's solar cars, whatever you want, I think a lot of people, it's, this is what I need to do to this person. But my attitude, and hopefully everyone else's, is this is what I need to do for this exactly. person. There's a, that's like a, you know what that's like? That's like a, a little shift, a little turn. I don't look at it like if I'm going to go see George, okay, this is what I got to do. I got to go. No, I'm going in there developing unbelievable rapport. And then I just want to. You know, I want to walk them through the process. And I just love it. I really am having a blast. You know, uh, my day tomorrow, I think I've got five meetings tomorrow uh, between for myself and Will and so on. I just love getting down. And, you know, if you remember two weeks ago, there was one guy that was just like this. <laughs> I don't care what I did, John. I don't care what I did. I couldn't develop rapport with him. So basically, I shut it down and said, I got to go. <laughs> I got to go. And I wasn't getting this guy anywhere. I wasn't getting him anywhere. Okay. So let me kind of segue. And then I want Rich to come on because Rich is, uh, is going to go through some really powerful stuff in a second. So Rich, I hope you're doing your homework right now. <laughs> um, let me go into something else for a minute. And um, I'm generally speaking here. I'm not pinpointing anybody. Please understand that. I'm generally speaking. I've learned in the last 20, some 25 years, I have four habits. Maybe you can call them four values. And um, if we go up into my children's bedroom, there's a plaque on each of their walls that says four habits to live by. John, I think you've heard me say this in the past, possibly. Um, so I want to share them with you. Okay. And what's interesting is most people don't know how to practice all four. They don't know how to practice all four. But I believe once you get to the point where you learn how to practice all four, all four mystical, magical things happen. In fact, you know what those things are? you become referable. These are 15 leads. Now I'm giving away free solar power. I get that. I understand that. <laughs> I know that. But you know what? If they don't, if you don't respect them, excuse my English, they ain't giving you leads. So here are the four habits. And again, forget about solar. You might want to share these habits with your family, with your children, if you have grandchildren, whatever it is, you might want to share these habits. Show up on time. I am never, ever late, ever. And if I am, hey, John, sorry, I'm running five minutes late. The traffic is unbelievable. I apologize. Show up on time. And I don't mean right on time at 10 a.m. I mean, five. I will always knock on a door probably 10 minutes prior, maybe five minutes. I'm not 10 o'clock. 
I want a fudge factor, a little rapport, whatever. So show up on time. Do what you say. Do what you say. How often, how often do you meet people that say, hey, Will, I'll get that to you tomorrow, and it never comes? How often? So do what you say. Finish what you start. How often do we do something and we don't finish what we start? Big or small. Big or small. And I think this one is probably my favorite. And this one, before I tell you what it is, I'm very, very critical about this. I'm especially critical. Uh, excuse me, because I know I have some on here right now. I'm very critical about the millennials when they're working behind a cash register and they don't do this. It just pisses me off. And that's say please and thank you. And I wait there. <laughs> Aren't you supposed to say something to me? Oh, yeah, no problem. Really? No problem? When, well, when is it a problem? <laughs> it just irks me. So say please and thank you. Show up on time. Finish what you start and, uh, and do what you say. And here's what happens, everyone, because we have a great team here that has, is on the move. And, again, my, my, my big goal my big goal is to really build with everybody here, the largest solar company in tri-state area, and I re really believe we could be in the top five in the country. That's what we're, we're gonna do that. But in order to do that, we gotta be real pros. We have to be pros. But when we practice those four habits, when we practice those four habits with our clients, customers, homeowners, guess what? We become referable we become referable and the interesting things is that the interesting thing is this brains brains talent charm are no substitute for this people go to harvard yale they still don't do this they still don't so there's no substitute for this Show up on time, do what you say, finish what you start, say please and thank you. And I posted an email earlier today. John, you want to say, hold on, John. I, I, John, I'll unmute you. I don't know where you went, but where'd you go, John? Where, where's your thing here? I, I can't find, hold on, John. Go ahead, John. I'm with you. No, I'm with you. I'm just thinking it's what you say, it makes a lot of, a lot of, a lot of truth, a lot of value to it. But most of all, it's getting out there. Analysis causes paralysis. Overthinking something will never get you started. Didn't I post that the other day? I showed you like the brain going on fire. Yeah. <laughs> I said, Overth don't overthink, right? Don't overthink. You know, if you wait for all the lights to turn green, Johnny, as we talked about, we never, we never, we never get, we never get out of the driveway, right? You just right. got to go. We got to figure it out along the way. And Absolutely. That's, and you know what? I will say this. Uh, I jumped into the solar business second week in February. I have had, I think I've gotten my MBA. I've got my MBAs. Now I'm not as knowledgeable as rich or Sully or some of you others, but I got to tell you, I got a 90% close rate, not too shabby, not too shabby because I think there's other things that come into the mix, other things that come into the mix here. So, all right, I've got some, um, I've got a couple of other things to share, but I, I want Rich to come on, let Rich do his thing, because Rich and I were on a, um, we were on a corporate call yesterday, and um, I have to tell you, these guys are doing some extraordinary things. Remember, our business is four components. Let me mention what the four components are. The front end. And the front end is lead generation and sales. Part of the front end is recruitment, bringing on other solar consultants that go to our class. Our next class is June 10th, by the way. And our next class is the last class at the Marriott in Uniondale. July class and forward will be in our new office. 
How cool is that? The other third component is finance. And I've always said from day one, the company that comes out with creative financing will be ahead of the curve. And the last thing is putting the sunglasses or the solar panels on roofs, installation. Those are the four components of our business. That's it. We have control over the first two, right? We have control over the first two. For the most part, the financing and installation is the, is, is the home office. They do that and so on. But the first two we have control over. So, well, Rich. Can you repeat the second one? My dog came in and I missed it. Is that Mike or, or George? George. Oh, George. Okay. Can you repeat uh, the second um, one? So the first one is, um, is lead gen and sales. Right. The second one is recruitment, bringing on new solar consultants. The yeah. third one is finance, and the fourth one is um, so is, in, is installation. We got to put the glass on the roof, right? That's the deal. Okay. So, all right. So let's do this. Rich, where are you, buddy? Where are you, pal? I'll get you. Hold on. There you go. Hold on, Richie. Here I is. Okay, brother. <laughs> I'm gonna well, let me see if I can find you. Where are you? I don't. I can unmute it, Bob. No, I got you unmute. I wanted. I want your picture. Oh, there oh. you go. There you go. Okay, Richie, it's all yours. I have to go get two aspirins. I have a little headache, so I'll be back in two seconds. Do you? All right. Okay. So, as Bob mentioned, we had a very big uh, call last night. It was, uh, it was really good. A uh, couple of changes. Uh, so, we have a little house cleaning to do. Not this Friday, but next Friday, we're going to have a, a really good training class because uh, we have new financing in place, guys. On... Uh, Monday night, we're going to have a webinar on it. The good thing is that there's a few of us in the company already who are very familiar with this financing. So Salal is dragging their feet up and coming to the East Coast. So we had just now, we signed up with the, um, Sunlight. Sunlight is a good finance company. Um, and this is how it's going to work. I'm going to give you the basic gist of it. Very good things. We're going to be able to run the credit at the sit, which is going to solidify the deal and make the homeowner more bought into this whole deal, which I like. We did it at our old company, and it really worked well. Um, the tax credit, they're going to have 18 months to capitalize on their tax credit now, which is a year and a half. That's very good. The part that really excites me, if they should fail credit, they could get a co-lender, whether that be a spouse, a family member, the person does not have to live in the house. Uh, that's pretty huge. All right? That's really huge. Um, yeah, it's, yeah, it's a Rich, 25. What's up, Rich, Let me just say this because today, that what, because like the, 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 the sit that I went on today, I don't know if the husband's credit is so good, the wife's credit is good, but who knows? He says, but my daughter lives in the apartment next door. Yeah, it's huge. So that's great. That's a. Uh, to me, that, I'm most excited about that because we are going to come across people now, guys, when we are at the table and their credit fails. It's, it's an, an awkward feeling. Um, but even if they don't have a co-lender, Everlaw will work with them and Sunlight, which is a really good deal. They're also going to reward them if they have good credit. Right, Bob? Yep, go ahead. You so they're going to get rewarded if they have good credit. They'll get a different rate if they have good credit. And what will happen is Evola will call them. I'm sorry, Sunlight will call them and work out a, work out a better finance pro, uh, solution with them, which is really nice. Um, we are allowed to borrow up to seventy five to 150K, which means if we have a system that is $50,000 and they need tree removal, a new roof, a panel upgrade, anything like that, we could roll it into the loan at the interest rate that we're supplying them with. Um, sorry about that. Um, we are also running a new BIDX starting on Monday too, guys. Uh, the new BIDX is going to be a ton more easier to use. Bob and I got a preview of it last night. It's cleaner. It's smoother. It's a little bit more user-friendly. Um, that, that's exciting news to me too. Bob, you want to say something? Yeah, Rich. You know what? Um, let's go back to sunlight for a second. And by the way, um, I don't, uh, Rich, I don't know if you mentioned. So we're just giving everybody a preview right now. 
but there will be a corporate Zoom cast on this. So yep. just sit tight. I think it's going to be Monday. We'll let everybody Monday. know so the all of the field will be on there. But here's the deal which got me excited, everyone. You ready? And <laughs> I thought about this 10 days ago. I said to myself 10 days ago, wow, wouldn't it be cool if we were able to, if a homeowner was able to transfer the balance of the loan to the new homeowner. It's transferable. So, Sunlight, that, that was my idea. That was my idea. Who's Sunlight, it? well, John, Sunlight's been doing it for years. <laughs> that was John, mine, I gave it to you. Sunlight's been doing it for years, John. Don't take the thunder. <laughs> so, John, so the cool thing is that is that now with Sunlight, They'll, the homeowner will be able to transfer it to another to another homeowner. I think that's awesome. That's so incredible. good. So good. So uh, good. We're going to have to uh, big. This is very big and very important, guys. You're going to have to get all. When I say all, I mean all copies of their utility bill, whether it be PSG or Con Ed. Um, PSG sends three pages. You need all three, and they must be uploaded to the bid x so sunlight will have them so uh, rich that rich uh when you say upload meaning like if i'm there with my ipad i take a picture with it and then upload it from there yeah bob what i usually do is i take it with my camera on my phone because it's a lot easier yeah. I'll, I'll i'll uh there's a um a program an app that's free it's a scanning program it works very well um and i'll i'll make everybody i'll show everybody that uh you take it with your camera and then you can email it to you yourself and now it's on your computer just save it as an image and then you can upload it to bidx it's very simple to do it's very very yeah. simple okay cool. so with you that being said i look. recommend i recommend to everybody um what we used to do is it's, it's important to now uh get the bill prior to the appointment if you can um this way you you know in the beginning this way you can have it and you can have everything put together before you get to the homeowner's house. It runs a lot smoother. I like it a lot better that way. On top of that, gentlemen, we have really big news. So, Solar World, I don't know if you guys know, is closing down. Uh, they, they're in trouble, a little bit of trouble. And we got an exclusive deal with LG right now. We're going to be doing the LG 315 kilowatt panels triple black there the I've solar seen. world was 285 285s that is good that is very good um looking at them today with johnny and james sully uh they are very attractive the, i i always like the lg panels we're also going to be doing the bullnose in the front uh so we have a panel and there'll be an aluminum bullnose in the front it makes it a nicer cleaner look Remember, guys, we do not do conduit runs on the roof. We do all of them all in the attic. Tremendous, big differences in install. They look great. I suggest to everybody to go onto the Everlaw Facebook page. They have some pretty neat pictures there. Um, I would open them up, snap a shot of them. This way you can show your homeowners what they're going to look like since we have no installs on the island. Um, they have some really, really nice uh, shots of them. But as far as the sunlight goes, don't sweat it, guys. Um, I've been using Sunlight for two years now. It's very easy. We're going to have a couple training classes on it. We'll breeze right through it. The new Bidex, piece of cake. Um, that's it, Bob. I, I've been really excited to uh, get going on this. Oh, what does this mean for us? The, the, the big news. So now we have our financing in place. What does that mean? Paychecks. Paychecks. Oh, we're going to get paid. So three days after your deal, because now you're going to run the credit right there, it's going to be approved three days after your deal, that job will go into the next pay period. The only thing that we're going to have to do, and um, I would be help, willing to help everybody out with this, whoever needs to help, is we're going to have to contact our customers who already sold the deals to. So those, uh, are, the, those are the ones. So what Richie's getting to right now uh, is – all of the sales that have been consummated to this point after Monday, obviously we need to contact them, go back to them, 
just go through the DocuSign again. And then once they're approved three days later, obviously you know, comm commissions are generated, uh, which is yeah. awesome. So that's great. That's really it's, great stuff. It's, it's no big deal. Uh, it, it just explains the homeowner. Salal is just dragging their feet. Um, so, you know, we want to get the job going. So we have the sunlight, question. same deal. Um, uh, Bob ahead, says uh, we have go to ahead. go through the DocuSign again. Uh, yes. What do you mean by the DocuSign again? It, do I have to actually go back to that person? Or most, can... prob most probably, Will. Will, yeah, listen, we'll, I've, we'll, got, I've got the, the, the cases here that I sold, right? And you know what? We're going to cram for four or five days. Once you're done, then you just move forward. That's yeah. all. You know? and, so I, I've got like 25 cases that I've sold and I'm thinking about, but you know what? It is what it is. I remember I used to deal with the same crap in the insurance business when I needed to get, and you deal with it. It's business the way it it's is. A, it's a hiccup, Bob. And yeah. we're, 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 we're growing. And I think the, this part of the of what's going on right now is the most exciting part for me. I love growing with a company. So this is just a little hiccup. And it won't be the last, guys. Remember that. We're going to have hiccups. Hiccups are good. It would, it, it, as long as they're positive hiccups. And this is a positive hiccup. In the long run, running the credit at the table with the homeowner is going to solidify the deal for us. Cancellation rates are going to be non-existent. They're going to be boarded at that point. I'm excited about this. This is what I was hoping we would get. Um, well, I hope you're all excited. question for you. John yes, Fisher. George. No, John Fisher has a question for you. Go ahead. Hold on, John. Go ahead, John. Yeah. Um, did I understand, Richie? You're telling me that Solar World out in uh, Oregon is closing down. They're 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 filing bankruptcy. Let okay. me let me qualify that, John. Hold on. It's not Solar World in Oregon. Solar World is from Germany. Germany. I understand. Germany. I, they're all over the world. But right. Solar World in Oregon. What's happening to them? They they go chapter. I think they do the chapter thirteen or chapter okay, eleven. So then, what happens to the panels? Are we doing buyouts? We're buy, a lot buyouts on this. We're no. done with them. We haven't installed them yet, John. We don't want them. We got we got an exclusive deal with LG. The three fifteen kilowatt panels, triple black. They're a better panel, John. Okay. Do we have a name and address for LG? Uh, LG. You could just type in LG three fifteen triple black on your on your. Uh, Search and it'll, it'll bring them right up, John. Triple black. Yep, triple black. Now, and what was the reason? Uh, you know, um, the reasoning behind it. Why? Uh, this is like a surprise. Uh, I was on a phone with them yesterday. I was on a phone with them last night. As a matter of fact, they have a program that's absolutely incredible. Who? Cool. So, uh, I'm just shocked to, just to hear this now because I'm saying, wow, I was just on a phone with Jane last night for an hour from uh, Oregon. And to hear that they're what the hell are you doing out? on the phone with Jane for an hour from frickin' Oregon? Why wouldn't I? What you doing? What? What are you trying to get a date? Hey, trying to get a date? If you knew what I was doing, you'd be proud. <laughs> but I can't explain it to you right now. All right. So John, yeah, go. I wouldn't sweat this one, John. This is actually good news. We're going to a higher kilo. Kilowatt panel. No, that's good. I don't care where we go, but I, I just want to know. I want to make contact because I like to know what I'm doing. So if we go to LG, we have a phone number for this company, LG. I know what LG is, but what is the number? John, I'll get John, I'll get it for you from Rodney tomorrow. We will have all that for you, John. I do not have the number on me. I apologize. I'll get it for you tomorrow, John. I'll have it tonight. So LG <laughs> LG goes up to I believe as high as four hundred and fifty kilowatt panels, Bob. They do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, Jimmy and I were looking at them today. Um, Which means, Rich, that means depending on the kilowatts, it could mean less panels, correct? It will, it will mean less panels, which means a lower loan, which means a better deal for us. So, for example, let's take uh, the, the, the case that – I use the word case, I'm sorry. But let's take the, the case that Stephen and I went on today with Dr. Harry. That's mm -hmm. 20 kilowatts, 70 panels. So we'll probably run that at about 60, 65 panels, Bob. 65 panels. But it'll still be at 20 kilowatts. Absolutely. But it'll, it? be a cheap, it'll be a cheaper loan, less panels. And the sizes are the same? Yep. 29 yep. by 66? Yep, three, uh, three, three foot by five foot. Uh, Interesting. Well, okay, you, cool. If I can add in something. Is that Eileen? Yeah. yeah. Hello, Eileen. How are you, hon? Go ahead, Eileen. What you're doing 
with the LG panels, it's also, it's more important, we're opening up a mar the market for people who have limited space for installation. That's Perfect. The deal. That's the deal. And yeah. we're bringing them closer to that 100%, yeah. making it more beneficial for them. That's where this is a home run. And oh, LG yeah. quality, as well as LG quality is great. It's good news, right, Eileen? It's LG is awesome. Yeah. LG He's is talented. awesome. That's a really good, everything we've done, everything they've done, is really moving forward. Yeah. You know what, Eileen? I, Eileen, I've said this from day one to Rodney, and uh, and you know because of you know coming from the insurance and the financial world, uh, I've seen these brilliant individuals uh, use insurance products in a very, very, very creative way. Creative financing, and you know the third portion is the the companies that do creative things like this are really going to are really going to uh, you know. Uh, be the front movers in the industry, Eileen. They really will be. Yeah, you know, it's awesome. I have to say, Sunlight also well established out here. Familiar with them. Um, I didn't even know that we couldn't transfer the loan to the new person. So glad I didn't hear that before. How cool is that? It's standard in the industry. Yeah. So so standard from now in industry. So it's awesome that we have that and. I have to say, we did it before, working with failed credit. Everyone are saying, we'll work with somebody with that slightly lower credit. We have solid people who will be able yeah, to, that's huge. to get it. That's huge, Eileen, because there are, unfortunately, people who will fail credit, um, who don't can't maintain a 650 credit score. Uh, we have some couple good things. Bob knows somebody who will help them fix, and Mike knows somebody who will help them fix their credit score, which is great. Um, we'll get that information out to everybody. But um, being able to get multiple avenues of, of co-lenders is good. And it doesn't have to be somebody that lives in a house. Um, usually uh, they're very that. strict. It has to be um, a spouse. Um, that's the only way the, uh, most lending companies will do it. It has to be a spouse. But they're, they're going the extra mile because it's exclusive. This deal is exclusive only to... Um, have lost solar. So uh, Nate really, really, and Spence really, really busted their, their chops on working on a great deal. And when they come here in the next week or so, uh, we should really uh, give them a round of applause for the, the work they've done on this. It was just incredible. Uh, they put it together in, in what, uh, four hours, Bob, they made this deal or something like that? Yeah, and by they the worked way, on it yesterday and they had it done before they do it. John, so, I believe John Spence and Nate will yeah. be here, uh, you know, for, them, for the next class, June 10th. And again, guys, you know, everyone here are solar consultants. That doesn't mean you can't go to the next class. You know, I encourage you to go. You don't need to pay again, obviously, uh, but I encourage you to be there and be part of it. So, um, all right, Rich, can I keep going on? I want to keep it below an hour. Is that okay? Uh, I guess you can, Bob. All right. All right, all right let me, uh, let me just, um, I, I want to just talk about two more things. And um, our new office, uh, the lease should be signed tomorrow, uh, if not, if, if it wasn't already signed today. And the office is on Northern Boulevard in Great Neck. I don't know the number. I think it might be 500. Don't hold me to it. But it's directly across the street from Leonard's. Remember Leonard's Catering Hall? Directly across the street from there. It is absolutely, unbelievably amazing. There's 300,000 cars that pass a day. There's, uh, I personally feel, and Rodney agrees with me, that will be grown out of it in 18 months. Uh, we'll be grown out of it, and that's okay. Uh, we would have really liked the upstairs, but something else is going up there. But we're going to have a grand opening. I'm going to say at the end of June, beginning of July, around there. We want News 12 there. Uh, we, we want to really build this up. So I'm so excited about this. Now, that doesn't mean we want everybody in the office <laughs> all day long. That doesn't make sense. In fact, one of the other things next Monday, if you want me to talk to you about, it's called the No Office Solution. I don't make money here. I don't make money in our Uniondale office. I make money 
when I go out and I see people and I do things with you and see, that's where we make our money. I think we could all agree upon that. But the office is just an awesome gathering place. We'll have a call center there with anywhere between five and 10 people. We'll have a concierge department. There'll be space there. You know, if Eileen wants to come and rest her hat for an hour and make calls, we'll hold our classes there. Uh, we've got a kind of like a rah-rah room. So if, you know, Rich has got 10 people on his team and he wants to have a meeting with them, we've got a private room for that. I mean, it's beautifully done with wainscoat and this and that and everything. So I'm excited about that. I really am. It's a big step for us. It's great for the team. It's great for morale. Uh, it's just, it's a home run. It really is a home run. Lastly, and then if anybody wants to share, they could share. But lastly, um, I am laser focused on the front end. And the front end being sales and lead generation. I believe if we do, you know, and it's interesting and Rich, Rich, is no, Rich will agree with me. You know, when we first really began, I would say to everybody, okay, here's 15 different lead generation techniques. Go get them. <laughs> go get, just go get them. Go get your own freaking leads. Go do it. Right. I've conceded. I conceded. And I've conceded to the standpoint that not everyone's going to do it. It's just the way it is. And we or we as a company need to force the activity. We need to force the activity, right? And that's why I'm focused on building a call center and appointment centers and so on and so forth. So I'm gonna throw this out to everybody. Here's what's, here, here's what's happening. For those that will set appointments a day. So let's say hypothetically, Johnny, you set two appointments today, right? Let's just, and you put them into your bid X. Right. You put them into your bid X. So yeah. the company sees that. They'll give you two, they'll give you two leads. No. They'll give you two leads. So we need, you have to realize something, guys. And I could also get my book out and read to you a chapter about no entitlement attitude. I'm very sensitive when it comes to the word entitlement. I'm sorry. That's my makeup. Yeah. That's how I'm cut. That's my cloth. Done. That's right. Okay. That's just the way it is. Everything that I've done, I've had to go out there and put together myself. That's so, right. But I've conceded to that, that, okay, guys, go get 15. It ain't happening. And I know that. And that's okay. And I, and I understand that. And that's why my big goal, my big goal shortly is for – is for the whether it's the appointment centers, call centers, or the leads coming from the company that we need to have 150 appointments a week divided by a certain amount of people, whether it's 10, 15, 20 people, or whatever. Right now, we've got 19 people on here. When you take 150 appointments a week, I love my big calculator. Let me do some numbers real quick. We take 150 appointments a week. How many will we sell, John? We'll sell 100. You tell right. me, Bobby. Everybody with me? Oh, Bob, I disagree. How many? Why? Tell me, Rich. Talk to me. If we get 150 leads. 150 appointments set. Set? With, yeah, the, product set. That we, with the product that we have right now? Yeah. 130, Bob. Let's go for 130. Rich, let me do my number, then you can go to your number. Let's, <laughs> we, we got 150, we sell 100, 80 stick. Yeah. 80 stick. That's times four is 320 a month. The average sale is 35,000. That's $11,200 in sales a month. We are the largest solar company in the tri state area, and we're in the top five in the country. That's the deal. That is something to be extremely proud of. And I could see that happening within the next three months, Bob. I'm going to make, it, ha I'm gonna make it happen. <laughs> I'm going to force help. it. I'm, I'm going to force it. it. So, so again, so Eileen sets two appointments, puts the two appointments into her bid X, into her bid X. She'll get two appointments. She'll get two leads. Will does the same. George does the same. Sully does the same. Every, you know, and so on. But there's got to be, here's my um, other part of my philosophy, my personal philosophy. 
If people take a step, I will take five steps. If people don't step, I ain't taking a step. Excuse my English. Sorry. I'm just not. I've done that in the past, and guess what happened to me almost? Yeah. I almost died. Bobby. I led a team of 4,000 people, and I wanted to drag people, and I almost I ain't doing that again. Excuse my – I ain't doing it again. Go ahead, John. Uh, you know, I, 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 I'm guilty as charged because um, I haven't been out yet. I've spoken to some people, but I've been so tied up with my real estate business. But let me just say this. In the last couple of weeks, we're talking about 150000 earnings. So that's going to just – I'm putting that on the back burner right now. And then what I'll do is get out there starting tomorrow. And I will have appointments. There we go. I don't care. You John, know, you have to make sure, John, put them into your bid X. Yeah, I will. Because once you put them into your bid X, guess where it goes? It goes into the system, and they see it. And they see it. So that's important. We have to make sure that bid X is priceless to me. It's mm -hmm. absolutely priceless. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, so, John, we'll, do, we'll talk more about that. Okay, yeah. so it's 8.56. Is it, would anybody else like to make comments or this or that or I'm, I'm going to oh, comment. Go ahead, Eileen. Anyone needs to, anyone have a problem knocking at the door, making sure they get out, getting Kevin's it door. done, come with me, we'll kill it. That's great. You know what, Eileen, um, Stephen, maybe you should chat with Eileen later. Just a thought. Okay. Okay. Anybody else? Go ahead. <laughs> Okay, who is that? That's Michael. Michael. Who is it? Michael. 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 Okay. What day is she talking? Eileen, Eileen. Going out. Eileen, Eileen, Eileen. Michael, Jesus. Michael, Jesus. Michael, Michael. Michael. <laughs> Okay, that's oh Michael God, Mike Michael Camilleri on WhatsApp. Why don't you just communicate with Eileen, and then you could exchange numbers and figure out when Eileen will do that, and you guys could do that together. Yeah, Mike, you're, you're coming in like you're on the wall, buddy. Yeah, Michael, it sounded like you were like uh, nine feet below the Hudson River. So, Bob, can I just say one thing, Bob? Please go ahead. The energy today was incredible, guys. Um, uh, I love days like today. Today was, uh, if I don't know if anybody else felt it, but I mean, there was a, a vibe going on. It was nonstop. Uh, Johnny, Sully, and I were out together having a ball. I saw Bob was out. Everybody was having a blast today. Let's carry that on. Let's just build on that energy, and let's keep on going forward with that. With that being said, Rich, guys can, and ladies, can you imagine when everybody has a focus day together george will johnny rich sully mark everybody is running two three four appointments a day do you know what that's like that is intense <laughs> that is intense energy it's intense synergy and excitement and it's just uh, i've been there i know what it's like it, we're, we're on our road richie said it best we're on we're on the path and getting there right now it's really really exciting okay. it's it's fun bob there's nothing better than what's going on right now anybody else want to share for a moment before we end the call we're going to go over the uh the rate and the term of the uh new uh, lender is that correct on the yeah, we're going to do all that on monday jimmy okay so sully sully uh, uh i will get a link probably from corporate day two days from now and uh, what I'll do is I'll post it on our Facebook page and I'll uh, and WhatsApp and everything, uh, and uh, it'll be a corporate rollout. Yeah, we got we got to give corporate let them have a little thunder, right, Bob? Just a little bit, a little thunder for the corporate guys. Yeah, you know what, Nate? Nate will do it a little differently, Rich. Yeah. So that'll be fine. Yeah. Okay, anybody else want to share before we end it? Uh, we we can write up and close this week, and then we'll do it 
do new DocuSign with the new Correct. The Sunlight. Yeah. Correct. Yes. Yep, 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 exactly. I want to thank my mother and father for bringing me into this world. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Johnny? That's on my that's on my gratitude chart every day. Good for you. That's John. right. Good for you. That's, that's right. right. My, that's my first. That's my first one, John, on my gratitude sheet. Very good. There you go. Go ahead, Will. Okay. Yeah. Thank the big guy up above. Will you also sell it? Uh, go ahead. So that last appointment thing. So we have to go back to our people and do the whole bid X again, or just submit the DocuSign to them again. I would go, listen, when you say the whole bid X, the whole, the initial part of the bid X is a page. It's a couple little things. It's not a big well, deal. I mean, that's, that's what I'm saying. Do, do Doc, it. DocuSign it, Will. You got to DocuSign it again. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Got it. All right. All it's, right. It's, anything it's gonna be, else? It's going to be very simple. People don't get nervous. It's seamless. So Raymond, I just, hey, Raymond Gonzalez, everybody, Raymond's back. I just want to kind of. Uh, shout out to Ray. Ray is feeling better. Ray had a little stay in the hospital, but he's fa he's fantastic. Now, where are you, Ray? Hold on. Let me let me bring you out I'm, front. I'm right here with the Chihuahua. Hey, look at him. Look at Raymond <laughs> with the Chihuahua. <laughs> so, so Raymond and I had a, a long conversation today, Bob, uh -huh. about how we're going to get him back up and rolling. Good. We got a game. We got a game plan. It's all worked out. Super. So Ray, like the yeah. the, the the sales that we've done, uh, you know, uh, uh, we gotta you, you've got to go back. You'll go back to these Correct. people, and we got to do it again. But what'll happen, Ray? Right. It'll be like boom right away. It'll be done. So we'll we'll okay. talk about that. Okay. Uh, yes, anybody sir. else, Stephen? Any comments, Stephen? You've been quiet. Usually not quiet. Yeah. What's up with you? Hey, Bob. I just yeah, hey. I'm, I'm sucking it all in. <laughs> Bob, yes. when we uh, when we weren't actually with a customer today, we were actually out recruiting people, um, which was a good feeling. We met some really nice people today. Yeah, um, I think you guys saw the, the the WhatsApp family friends. Oh yes, yes, yes. The guy from uh, Legion Knoll. The Legion Knoll, just as you Peace. said, Legion Village. He pulled right in the spot. It was like God sent them. I love it. Let me just touch on that for a second, Sully, for everybody. Then we'll shut it down. Okay. One last thing. So. My tw one of my business goals, my 12-month goal for us is to have a field organization of 150 solar consultants. Everybody with me? And what we're going to do once we open up the other office is we're also going to force that activity. We're going to use different automation like Uber uses. You know, when Uber goes to hire, they use massive re – Ray, you're yawning right there. <laughs> I love it. So when Uber, uh, go, here, here. when Uber goes to hire, they use massive recruiting. Everybody follow me? Mm -hmm. You're going to hear me say over and over again, the core 15 to 20 people in how important it is and how important it is for the core to step up, become productive, do the things we're talking about, because, you know, when I go to so-and-so and say, okay, we got five people here. We want to put them in your group. We want to put them in your, we want to force that activity. We'd like you to mentor them. We'd like you to go out with them and teach them. But our goal is to have 150 people. And the reason why it's 150, if I did the math and took the calculator out again, the 150 gets us to the big goal. And the big goal is to do 50,000 homes in 48 months. Can you imagine how great that would be? 50,000 homes wow. in 48 months. But in order to do that, you need 150 people doing two sales each a week, forcing it. I think we could do that. No problem. You know, so we could do that. And that's not difficult to do because we'll hold classes. And now with the new office, guess what? We could hold classes once a week. Oh, yeah. Classes once a week. So, guys, you're in the Come right on. place at the right time. Uh, we've got EPCs. We've got approximately, I think it's anywhere from five to 10 EPCs right now, ready to go. So there's, you know, so, you know, I'm happy, like right now it's what, May 15th, 16th, something like that. So I went from March 11th to April 11th to May. So I've been going right now, March, April, probably about two and a half months, two months, something like that. And, you know, that beginning portion, people didn't have a lot of belief. You know, there are how many people on here? There are, 
there was 20 people on here, but there's a lot more that came aboard. So I'm happy for those of you that have the belief that understand what's in front of you and what you have here. And we've got some really great stuff. Uh, these are just great, Great, great guys. I'm exhausted. I can't talk anymore. I'm I done. just want to give a shout out to uh, Johnny Van Bommel today. Outstanding job. Nice job, Johnny boy. JVB. <laughs> nice job. All right, everyone. Have a great day. Uh, was you know watch you the too, Sully. watch the WhatsApp and um, and uh, ju let's all just stay connected and you know share your thoughts on the Facebook page. Share your thoughts. Uh, the more let me tell you what did it today. By the way. So you know, you know what also did it today was the interaction on WhatsApp. When you got two people going back and forth, eh. When you got five and 10 and 15 people interacting back and forth, it's magical. It's magical. So yeah. good night, everyone. Have a great night. I appreciate you. We'll talk tomorrow. Good night, Bob. Peace. Good night, everybody. Thank you. Peace.